feel really strong in the water. Don't really feel like I have a lot of speed, so it's encouraging to go a best time in that. Um, Greg wanted me to have as many 29s as possible, and I had, I think only my third 50 was a 30 point, so that's that'll set you up for a good race. And I was really pleased with my finishing speed at the end of that to come home in a 29.7 um, is is great. So I was I was really happy with that. As of right now, it works out perfectly where I have 400 IM day off. 2 a.m. prelim semis, 2 a.m. finals, day off, 2 back, prelim semis, 2 back finals. And so it was working perfectly, And but now the turn and free is getting a little interesting, so I'm sure we'll just probably over-enter and then decide at the meet, but it's nice to have options, I guess. Mentally, I'm very grateful for all the people in my life that knew me well and were encouraging me to be like think about this long and hard, um, we really think you should keep swimming. Like, no one in my life said, yeah, you know what, I think you should retire, like, I think that's good. They were like, do what you want to do, but we think you are capable of this. So I'm really grateful for everybody that talked to me in a really patient and kind way to kind of encourage me to make this decision, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm in a very happy place right now. It's definitely an adjustment going from college to postgrad swimming, and that took a little bit of time, but I'm glad I had the two years, and um, I think I, I've never been swimming better, so uh, I'm really glad I still, I'm doing it still. <laughs>